Hi, welcome to Oprah Hamster. Today we'll be taking a look at this car RPM. It's an OBD2 wireless scanner. Communicates using Bluetooth. Here's the manual for it. Very straightforward on just plugging this in, download the app onto the smartphone. Put the else on the back side. It does come with an activation code. I re already redeemed this. And here's the device. And here's the device. Here's the device. This supports combustible engine vehicles after 1996. There's not much information on the packaging itself. This vehicle is a 2012 Honda CRV, and the OBD port is right here. This white one right here. My other Honda, for example, would be on the left side, the Acura, Lexus, they're all on the left side. To plug it in, I just simply insert it. That's it. Here's the app, it's called Garage Pro. It is free. Now, I mentioned that this is communicated through Bluetooth. I pair it with this little icon up here, and I press car RPM, hit confirm. I do not pair it using the phone's Bluetooth connectivity. I do it through the app. So now that's done, let me start with full scan, for example. With full scan, this can take anywhere from 20 to 30, 40 minutes. Let's put in my cars, make a model. It's a Honda CRV. Five speed. Then I can proceed and scan it. I already did a full scan before, but I'm just go back to my garage. First time I used this device was about a month ago. Then I used it again today. Review the report. I found no fault codes. It's just a one page report. It gives just, just basic information. If there were some sort of issue, I can always take the fault codes, search online, see what it is and try to address it myself. It's a PDF format, so I can always share it through email, upload it to a drive if I wanted to. And back diagnostics. Earlier I mentioned that there was a activation code. That's for special functions. Essentially this allows me to scan view reports, clear codes for a limited number of cars. I already got that subscription. Smog check. I live in Jersey before I take my vehicle to the DMV. It's best to run this, just make sure everything will pass. Everything looks good. These are live data. It's a number of tiles showing the basic in information of what it's doing right now. Give it a second to populate on the screen here. Now, I cannot reorganize the tile. Everything is in a fixed position. Let's end this. And the last one is basis scan. Basis scan just checks for codes, and it's a lot faster than running the full scan. That car has no codes right now. If I want it, I can always press the clear codes. If any time I forget how to use the app, they offer tutorials. I check for updates. This provides a basic understanding of what's going on with the vehicle. This is something someone might want to run before bringing the car to DMV inspection or run it before bringing it to mechanic. That way, perhaps it can help you describe your car issues. So I'll place the link in the description below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Oprah Hamster.